morning East Texas. It's 516. We've got a relatively clear sky out today. We do have a few clouds trying to make their way from the north. You can see it on our radar. Otherwise, though, East Texas in the clear this morning. This is the most clear morning that we've had in a couple of days. Uh, we had some storms, then we had some clouds, but now we're all clear. If you're traveling too, this would be a great morning to do so, as well as if you wanted to get out and get some exercise. Also a nice morning. Not too warm. It's 81 degrees outside right now in Tyler, but it feels like 86 because that dew point is high. It's 74, 15 miles per hour. You can see our flags blowing. The camera's shaking a little bit. It's a little bit breezy outside, but that's going to help us keep it a little bit cooler as long as we can. Right now across the region, though, it's not just here that's warm. You can see the lower 80s across almost entire the entirety of East Texas. A few places like Lovekin, Nacogdoches, and Jacksonville just in the upper 70s. However, we're not going to hang on to these coolish temperatures for much longer. We'll continue to warm up throughout the day just like we did yesterday and make it near or right to 100 degrees. A lot of us will probably see triple digits, maybe even over 100 degrees in some places. Right here in Tyler, we'll probably make it right around that 99. We do have some heat advisories no matter where you are. Again today, just like normal, it's going to be hot and humid. We do have that breeze, but that's not going to keep us too cool. Record high, 106. We're not going to beat that, but we're starting to get just a little bit closer to our record highs. Now, our heat index values well above 100 degrees. You can see places like Nacogdoches and Lovekin 109, Tyler 109 as well, Mineola and Sulphur Springs 110, even Mount Pleasant and Linden 111. That's what it'll feel like across East Texas today. So these aren't our actual temperatures, but as you step out the door, that heat and humidity is going to make it feel well above 100 degrees. So make sure you're taking plenty of water with you. For those reasons, we do have our updated heat advisories that came in this morning. Now, most all of East Texas has now been put under a heat warning, an excessive heat warning. Now, this starts at noon, so when we start getting into that heat, when those heat advisories can get, or those heat index values can get relatively high, it goes until 7 p.m. tonight. Our heat advisory just for our two counties down in deeper parts of East Texas, that goes until 10 p.m. Friday, because these are some of those counties that have that higher criteria to get an excessive heat warning. Tonight, though, steamy still, but just a little bit breezy. We'll still have that south-southwest wind from about 10 to 15, maybe even gusting to 20 miles per hour. It'll be about 80 degrees, 79 to 80 degrees, so another warm night tonight. If you wanted to get a night swim in, it might be a good evening to do so. High temperatures over the next five days going to continue to be warm as well. You can see Friday, Probably going to make it to the triple digits by Saturday, maybe just a little cooler Sunday. We have a chance for some storms, so that's why we're just a little bit cooler. But then going back into the beginning of next week, we continue to warm up. I wanted to show you this map as well. This is just a look at how much warmer will be than average. You can see between one to five degrees, East Texas will be warmer than average over the next couple of days till the start of next week on Monday. So definitely make sure that you're taking your water with you, taking breaks in the AC if you can, because it's going to be a hot next couple of days. Today, probably 99 extreme heat if we don't make it to the triple digits. And it's not going to be the first day that we don't make it to the triple digits. We probably won't for a couple days, but it is in the forecast. We're just going to keep getting hotter and hotter. Even with that chance of storms on Sunday, we still stay hot.